everyone, welcome back to the Lexi Hair YouTube channel. My name's Catherine, and today we're talking everything you need to know about Velcro rollers. So if you've been on TikTok in the last two years, you've probably seen someone doing a Velcro roller routine. And if not there, you've probably seen them on TV from a family member, or maybe you already use them, but you're just not sure if you're quite doing it right. The main piece with Velcro rollers is actually heat. So getting the hair hot, putting the roller on, letting it cool, and that is what sets them into this beautiful, voluminous place. There are a few ways of getting that heat onto your hair, whether it be a round brush with a blow dryer or another hot tool that is a blow dryer tool, or the way I like to do it, which is with a curling wand. Now you can do rollers on any day of the week that you want, but I personally like to do rollers the day that I wash and dry my hair. I find that it gives nice volume for the following days when I might style it a little bit differently after the curls fall out. And I find that they just sit better after a wash versus maybe on day two or three with a little bit more oil in the hair. Now, with that being said, let's Velcro roll our hair. So I'm going to be going in with our roller set. It comes with 18 different rollers, six of every size. We have small, medium, and large. So I like to section my hair into different segments as I go instead of just rolling randomly. So the first section that I like to do is the top section. So with rollers, you wanna make sure that the width of the section of hair is the same width as the roller. You don't want it to be over the sides and not setting properly. For all of my rollers, I'm going to be rolling so that the hair is underneath the roller. So I like to call it up because the direction that I'm rolling is often up, except for my front pieces. Acquired Style, Bridget, said that she actually rolls her front pieces inwards and I trusted her and let me tell you, we're not gonna be disappointed. Just trust me on this one. I trusted her, so please trust me. So, for the first section of hair, I like to make sure that it is within the width. I do have some face framing pieces, so I like to do a bit of a triangle, um, just so that when it comes down, it looks like it's coming through the hair. I don't know if that makes any sense. So taking my curler, I roll the hair in the direction that the roller will be going on. So for this piece, I will be rolling around it this way. And I like to hold the curler horizontally. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look very curly. But what we're going to do is take the roller, kind of brush through that. And then I like to do it at this angle. Um, you wanna put it upwards a little bit, so not down here or not straight forward, you wanna kind of give it an angle upwards because that's where the volume comes from. We're setting that root and I just keep that upwards placement. And there we go. That's a really good look. And I just make sure it sets in place there. So this was a large roller because I want the face framing pieces to kind of be more voluminous than curled. Whereas these next pieces, I would like some curl to them. So I'm using the medium roller. Again, I am sectioning it to be the same width as the roller. And you can always just check that before by making sure putting the roller up to it. So this roller, I'm actually rolling the opposite way. What I like about our signature curler is that because the barrel is extra long, I don't have to move around the hair. I can get it all on at once and take it off. So this, I'm actually going to go straight up. Try and lean back for you. I'm going to brush through it a little bit go straight up and then I just kind of tuck the ends on. I don't want to smush them into the Velcro too much. Now this piece, these two, I did over. Now this roller, I will be rolling under. See the direction of the hair of the roller when I'm putting it in versus like that. I'm putting the hair underneath it to start the roll versus putting the hair over top of it to start the roll. 
So same with my curling. I want to do it the same way direction. I will be putting my roller on. In my opinion, that is the most difficult part of all of this. So we're on to the easy part. We're smooth sailing from here. This is the part that I like to do it in different sections. So I would do two layers of hair here and just separate that off, spin it and clip it. We're working on this. This is our reminder that we are rolling up for the rest of the time. Obviously you can do whatever direction you'd like, but after playing around with the rollers a little bit, I think I really like the direction of putting the hair underneath and then rolling up. Now, if you have little pieces like my hair kind of straggling out, I just tuck them in as I go. That is what chemical damage from bleaching your hair will do. This is where I'm going to use one of these little clips and then I just clip it in. My next piece, I'm going to be doing medium. So, roll. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side and as you can see there's some of this hanging out in the back so we'll do that last. I usually do this and then I do my makeup or I will go down on the computer, do some work, have a coffee, have breakfast. But the number one thing that you want to do is make sure that your hair is cool when you take these out. So the way hair works is when it's hot or wet, it's more malleable. And that's why if you're doing styling with wet hair, you have to put it in the position that you want it in for it to dry the way you want it to. Um, because when it's cold and dry, the follicle like closes. So, so now that these are set, it is the fun part. I love this part. Yeah! I like to start at the bottom and work my way up to the top. So just if there's any pieces of hair that seem to be giving a bit of a hard time, just be gentle with your hair. And not going to sit exactly how it comes out of the rollers. You want to play around with it a little bit. Um, and then I will spray a little bit of hairspray. Not too much. I do a light hold. I don't want it to be crisp. I want it to be movable, but I just want it to kind of sit. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I love my Velcro rollers, so I enjoyed this a lot. 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and make sure to check us out on our social media platforms at Luxie Hair. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And if you try this out with Velcro rollers, make sure to tag us on social because I want to see it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Mwah.